All right, y'all get ready to learn how to drop in an image into your WordPress menu. See my example here? I've got the standard menu with a drop down option here, and then there's a really cool image that you can have, and it can be linked or not linked. Uh, I'll show you another quick example where I brought in some of their branding into the menu there. So you've got all the menu items and then a really cool little branding piece or element into that uh, menu. I'm gonna show you how to do that all in the budget of free and you don't even have to really know nerd code. I'll show you exactly what you can copy and paste to drop in your image. I'll also show you some premium options if you want that I would recommend if you need to go really advanced with column structure, and all that kind of extra style. But for the sake of right now, I will show you how to get this done. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Every single Wednesday, I'm right here helping you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. So please be sure to click like and subscribe. Come back here with me every single Wednesday and hang out and learn how to improve your WordPress website. All right, let's get to the tutorial. So first things first, after you've logged into your WordPress website, you'll want to be certain that the image that you're trying to use uh, whether it's an icon or whether it's a logo or whatever you'd like to add into that menu is already uploaded to your media library. So once you drop it in here, you'll want to copy the URL onto your clipboard. And the example that I showed you was using this logo. So I'm going to go down here and copy the URL to my clipboard. Now that I've got that copied to my clipboard, I'm going to exit out of that screen. I'm going to go into appearance and menus. And if your theme has multiple menus, you might want to navigate to the correct one. I'm working on my main primary menu, and I want to add this into my learn drop-down options here. So I want it to live just below this in my drop-down navigation. So I'm gonna go over here to custom links. If by some chance you do not see this option over here, I want you to come up to the very top of your WordPress website. Go right up here in the corner to screen options. Open up that little drawer and be certain that custom links lives here. Okay. You want to be certain that box is checked. And then we're going to close that little drawer up. And now it should live right here in your options. Open up that little drawer. If you want the image to be linked somewhere, you can drop in the URL right here. So I'm gonna say, press happy. All right. Now, instead of dropping in text to link, we're going to paste in our URL for our image. But first, I need you to do an angle bracket and then type in IMG space SRC equals open quotes and then paste in your URL that you have on your clipboard, right? So control V or command V, and then we're going to do end quotes and end angle bracket. Now, if you're wondering, wait, 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 Corey, I thought you said no code. I've got a link in the description box below, below this video that'll help you get the exact code that you can just copy and paste in. We're gonna click add to menu. And by default, WordPress always puts that at the very bottom. And of course, it looks a little odd right now, but no worries. We're going to drag it up to where we want it to live, drop it in there, and click Save Menu. And now we're going to go back to the front side of our website and click Refresh and check out underneath Learn. There's our nice little logo. Let's click on it and be certain that it functions correctly. And yep, it jumped right over into uh, the website that I wanted it to point to. So that's how you drop in an image totally for free into your WordPress website. What if maybe you wanted an icon comparable to this little example that I was showing here? What if you want an icon next to the actual uh, text. So let me show you how to do that again in the budget of free. All right, to create that example in the budget of free, we're going to use a free plugin. So you'll go to plugins and say add new, and we want to search for font awesome. Here it is right here, and we'll go ahead and click install now, and we will click activate. 
Of course, you always want to be certain that you're running backups of your website in case anything goes wonky or weird while you're building this out, especially if you're working on a live site. Now that that's inside here, we can actually call those icons to appear anywhere we want in the website. I'll put a link over to this website where you can see all the different free icons that you can use. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a little arrow icon. I think I want to use this one. So I'm going to copy this little I, which stands for icon class. I'm going to copy that just by clicking it once and it copies it onto my clipboard. Now I'm going to go back over to my WordPress website. Let's go back to my menu area. And now we're going to use again that custom links area. We are going to add in the URL of wherever we want it to go, right? So there you go. And now we're going to paste in that little bit of code that we had on our clipboard. We're going to add a space and we're going to say whatever we want the text to appear next to it and click add to menu. Now it's going to look a little funky again. No worries. Let's drag it up. I'm going to drop it ahead of my logo from earlier and click Save Menu. Let's go back to the front side of our website. I'm going to go ahead and click Refresh. And now under Learn, you're going to see a nice little icon next to Press Happy. And of course, you can add that to all of these options that you'd like. If you already have options that are living here, most of these are going to be actual pages or posts or categories. So you'd have to have this as a manual process if you wanted to stay in that budget of free. There's also this budget that you can work with. This falls in the budget of free. Max Mega Menu, as of today, it has 400,000 plus active installs. And I always tell you to double check that and be certain that it's got really great reviews, right? We always want to be certain that it has really strong reviews, everybody's liking it, it's working well, and then you can test it on your WordPress website. But this is a really cool tool if you wanna get advanced and maybe add in some column structure to your mega menu. Of course, if you're running on Divi, I highly recommend Divi Life and their Mega Menu Pro. This thing is just a beast and it really gives you some cool ideas on how to build out some really dynamic menus. They've even got the option of doing these really cool little tabs inside of here, adding in a photo, adding in extra text. Look at that. I mean, you've got a whole pop-up that happens all inside of your menu. And of course, that's running on the Divi WordPress theme. All right, y'all. I know those were a lot of cool options, but you can always rewind the video, press pause, and check it out. Slow it down step-by-step. -step. Be sure to click the link in the description box below so that you can get over to my website and copy that code. You don't have to write any nerd code yourself. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you liked this video, would you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel? Come back here every single Wednesday and hang out with me. I'm helping you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. I'll see you next week, y'all. Bye-bye.